Hello and welcome to our support. Today we're going to walk you through the remote call user interface for the representative and the customer. We're going to take a look at the various menus and tools and how to easily navigate through the application. Here we're looking at the remote call viewer window, which is used to view and control the remote desktop. At the top of the remote call viewer, we have our main menus, which is where you'll find access to all of remote calls features. The remote call menu is used to access session settings, initiate session transfers, as well as rebooting and reconnecting with the remote PC. The controls menu allows you to enable mouse and keyboard control, mouse chase, which allows you to view the remote cursor in real time, as well as the laser pointer and the laser arrow, and sending a control alt delete command to the remote PC. The draw menu allows you to draw and annotate on the remote desktop in real time to assist and guide your customers through their problems. Now the display menu is quite powerful. This allows you to control how you're going to view the remote desktop with the viewer. So in the display menu, you can view multi-monitor, one at a time, or simultaneously. There's also a screen navigator, which I'll get back to in just a moment. The zoom function allows you to zoom in and out of the remote desktop to focus on different parts of the screen. The scale to fit option scales the viewer to fit within the size of the window. So if we shrink the window, the desktop gets smaller. Viewing at actual size will restore the desktop to its full size at 100% scale. Lastly, we have the full screen mode. The full screen mode allows you to view the desktop using a full screen viewer. Now this is useful if their desktop is larger than your own. By clicking the restore button, you can simply go back to the regular size viewer. Now, if we shrink down the viewer screen while viewing at actual size, you'll notice that the desktop does not fit within the viewer. Well, we can enable that screen navigator function I was referring to before. You can enable this through the display menu or by clicking the screen navigator shortcut in the top right hand corner. The screen navigator allows you to drag your view around the remote desktop within a smaller viewer window. We'll just restore the actual size for now. Next we have our tools menu, which is where you're going to find most of the features you'll be using during your remote support sessions, such as sending and receiving files, presentation mode, which allows you to reverse screen sharing with the customer, and even session recording, recording your sessions to video. Lastly, the shortcuts menu gives you instant access to commonly used URLs, files, folders, as well as system diagnostic information and remote processes running on the remote PC. On the top right corner of the remote call viewer, you're displayed with the remote customer's name, PC name, and IP address to help you identify who you're connected with. This is especially useful when you are connected with more than one PC at a time. At the bottom of the viewer, we are displayed with the current session time, the scale of the remote screen, the displayed color depth, the remote resolution, and the current connection type whether it be a P2P connection or a gateway connection. Next, we'll take a look at the customer interface, which we call the session status window. This is what the customer will see on their desktop during a session. This window gives you and the customer basic connection details, such as current connection time, who has control of the mouse and keyboard, as well as what screen information is being shared. The arrow at the bottom of the session status window expands the preview pane showing exactly what the representative can see in the remote call viewer. By default, the entire remote desktop is shared to the representative. However, if you enable the application sharing feature, the customer can choose to select individual windows to share with the representative, instead of sharing their entire desktop. At any time, the customer can click pause to temporarily suspend screen sharing with the representative. When they are ready, they can click play to resume screen sharing. The disconnect button allows either the representative or the customer to disconnect the support session. The session can also be terminated by simply closing the remote call viewer window. Well, that is it for the remote call user interface overview. If you have any other questions, please refer to our full user manual or check out our other quick tip videos for more information. If you are not currently a user of remote call, feel free to visit us online at rsupport.com to sign up for a free two-week trial.